Hey everyone, it's Mozario here from Mozario Design. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this will be part nine of a 10 part tutorial series. We're doing some 3D CAD modeling. Um, all of the dimensions are in metric, so we're reusing millimeters. And you wanna go to your document setting and just make sure it's in millimeters. You can see I have it set already. So that way, every time I open up a document, I don't have to keep changing it. Also, I like to know I'm using a Windows operating system. So all of my uh, keystrokes, uh, short, shortcuts, all that, it, it corresponds with the system. Also, you can find um, my drawings, well, the 3D drawings on my portfolio website. I have a link in the description. And then you can check out some of the other work I've done as well. Um, design work and stuff like that so let's get right to it the drawing is going to get more difficult as we go along the last one wasn't that bad uh part eight wasn't bad uh it's just a lot of extrusions and you know stuff like that this one is going to be a little tricky because we have um radius uh extrusions lofts stuff like that so we're gonna we get started I'll try to keep this as simple as I can. We're going to create a sketch on the front plane. It's going to left click it. All right, so let's see. What would be the easiest way to do this? Let's get some lines in here. Okay, so we're going to start at our origin. I'm going to split this model in half. So you'll see what I mean. The overall length of this model is 92 millimeters. We're going to split it in half, which means we're going to go to 46. Let's see. Okay. And now we're going to uh, create a profile because we're going to extrude this profile once we have it established. So uh, six millimeters is the thickness of the platform that we're creating. Okay. Now, let's see, we're going to go over. We're going to go up. So this one, we can go ahead and establish this now. Uh, so this is going to be uh, 14 okay and then we're going to drag this over now you see when we drag it over it doesn't snap if we hover over the origin origin and then hover back up it's going to create a uh, intersection to snap to okay and now we can, uh, let's add the thickness back in, which is six. See, this is the top of the platform, right? That the ID and ODs are gonna sit on top of. So uh, we established that first. Okay. Actually, let's see. six we're just doing the thickness like we could have done an offset but i just want to show y'all why i'm doing this show you all why i'm doing this here okay so i connected that let's use the trim tool to get rid of this okay and then we're going to use the line tool let's just knock that down knock that down all right so i drew i extended this segment all the way down Let's trim it. I'm going to throw a construction line. You know, we don't even have to do that. I'm going to show y'all something. Let's turn our construction line off. So we're going to go to trim. Let's trim this away. Okay. So this is half of the profile that we're looking for. Uh, now, we're not going to finish the sketch. Let's just press enter on the keyboard. And we want to establish the right spacing from here to here right now if we do this right i don't know if we're if we're going if it's if it's going to do right let's see 
let's delete this and because we want to create one segment let's see if it'll work okay all right so i'm gonna see if this works okay all right so from the distance from those two segments those two lines should be nine millimeter ah okay so it didn't really move with it so let's see if we can do the same thing here so in order to move this over we're going to select that line with the sketch di sketch dimension function go over to this line this th this will be like the middle now we gotta do some math right so the spacing in in here is already nine the offset for this profile is six millimeters so nine and six is 15 if we type in 15 it should drag it over there it is so if we did it right we should have maintained our distance of six millimeters we want to cancel that because we don't want to over constrain the drawing all right so since we have this established as a profile we can mirror it but we're not going to do that yet we want to throw in a radius so to do that you want to go up to fill it click these two and then uh, it's going to be a radius of two press enter all right all right we have that established so now we can go ahead oh actually we got one more to do this is a what you call a typical so let's go back to fill it connect these two and it's going to be two there it is all right that's what we want it's a radius of two you see it reads as that uh as such r2 same up there r2 that's what we want all right so we can go ahead and mirror this over so it's press and on your keyboard go to create mirror so we're going to select all of these lines we should be able to do it all in one swoop if you double click there it is okay here's the mirror line it's going to be this segment here okay it won't let me select it for some reason so let's bring back the origin and it should allow us to select this axis there it is all right so you can see it you see we mirrored everything over press ok now it's a lot going on here so let's get rid of uh, this middle segment here we're going to trim that away trim that away and press enter on the keyboard it still wants to divide the two let's do one more trim away let's see if it'll work Nah, it's not working. Okay, no biggie. All right, so let's finish the sketch. Yeah, for some reason, that's weird. It just put a segment in there, uh, like like it was projecting it or something. I don't know. That's weird. So <laughs> anyway, we we can achieve the same thing here. So uh, regardless, so let's kind of go to home isometric view, and we want to extrude these two over in order to do that you go to extrude you want to select these two and we want to extrude it over now the overall width of the part calls for let's see 40 millimeters there it is all right very good so that's what we want okay the way i got that the dimensions that are listed it's for the center from uh, this segment here to the center of the first ID, which is nine millimeters. And then it's going to take it from there to the end as 31. 31 and 9 is 40. That's how I ended up with that. So our next step, we have to draw on this plane here. We're going to throw in our IDs on this plane just to get them out the way. So you want to create sketch. 
and we want to sketch on that plane and it's going to flip us to be able to draw in here now what i like to do is project so you want to go to create project we're going to project these two here we're not doing too much right now uh, the only thing we're doing is just uh, the ids so let's throw in some construction lines all right actually since that you know it'd be easier to do that so i'm gonna show you all something we have our construction line on right let's go to rectangle we're going to do a two point and we're going to do it from here to there so before we lock anything in let's just type in nine and nine and that's going to lock in the center of our first id and we want to just repeat the steps with the four corners so nine and nine and then we're going to do the same thing here nine and nine and then we're going to do the same thing over here nine and nine all right let's turn off our our um see construction line and we're just going to throw in a solid ids so the id dimension calls for let's see where we at I'm trying to find it here eight okay so the inside diameter is going to be eight and you can right click on your um mouse re repeat construction now we don't want to do that we want to create um inside diameter so let's just go up there and click on that do like that eight center of the id do the same thing eight do the same thing eight okay all right so let's see go ahead finish the sketch now let's go ahead and get this out the way actually you know before we do that we have to round off the corners so let's back up a bit let's go to let's do Control z let's go back to our sketch that kind of slipped my mind a bit so let's see if it'll let us we may have to throw in a couple of rectangles because even though we projected these lines from uh, the drawing, the you know the extrusion that we did. I don't know if it's if the system is gonna see it and allow us to manipulate them. So let's try something right here. Hmm. Nope, it won't let me. Okay. All right. So. We're going to do a little something, something. So let's do a two point rectangle and we're just going to drive it from this end point to this point here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. All right. Now with that, these are tangible in our space. Now the projected lines that we had, they weren't tangible. They didn't allow us to manipulate them. The reason I'm doing this is because we want to create fillets from the the lines we you know the the um line segments we just created now so um let's go up to fillet okay now you see how it lets us connect i mean you know uh choose these line segments that's what we want now the radius should still be two i believe let's double check two yep okay all right now we want to repeat fill it if you right click on your mouse it allows you to repeat the last operation and this clay in this case it's going to be fill it so we're just going to keep redoing that we could do it on one side and mirror it but you know let's let's do that i'm going to show y'all so let's uh click cancel and let's go to create mirror and we want to mirror these two fillets we just did go and select this axis it's going to be the and then it's going to pro, uh, project it over to the other side press ok and you see it took 
There it is. That's what we want. Now, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And we're going to go in the isometric. Now, from here, we want to extrude everything. And the reason I did it like that is just make it, we, we try to make it a seamless operation here. So, click that profile. Click this one, this one. And we want to click these too. And I, that's why I just went ahead and did it from that top view. If you were working like a design studio, you want everything to be as seamless and effortless and, you know, as efficient as possible. So you want to try to minimize your movements if you can. And there you have it. Now we have the base of the part uh, established here. So our next step is, okay, now it's going to get a little tricky. It's going to get a little tricky here. So what we need to do is uh, draw in, we're going to sketch in our uh, ID ODs uh, that sits like on the top of this platform here. It kind of hangs over here. Like I said, it's a very interesting part. So, hmm, we got to do some math. Okay, trying to figure out the best way to do this. Okay, all right, so what we need to do Got it. Let's draw on this face. We got to do some math. So we're going to draw on this face here You click it so it highlights create sketch Let's project Now we can project the whole body the only thing is it's going to miss these two here and we because we want to project everything we see on our uh, you know on our on our design space so let's go back to specify entities and we're just going to select each one manually like that you press ok now everything is included if we did the body it, it would have just uh, projected the outside lines which is cool but like I said we were it's a pretty tricky part so let's throw in a construction line that goes right down the middle. That way, oh, and let's establish a midpoint. There we go. All right. Now that we have that established, let's press enter and let's go to our diameter. Now that's going to be a solid line. And the reason I did that, I did like that, was to establish a center point for our diameter. So the first one we're looking at is going to be, let's see, the bottom OD calls for, it looks like 36. I got 36, the radius, it calls for a radius of 18. You multiply by that by two, you get 36. So let's type in 36. All right, now the way you can tell it's the right one is because of the way it overhangs like that when we go to extrude it's going to uh we're going to hit this platform here which is what we want so let's type that in press enter all right now if you go to your isometric view you see it's still it's holding us on that plane right now the reason i did that check this out you see when i zoom in it's going to allow us to uh, click those um, uh, projected profiles, these are like new profiles that we created. And we'll be able to project, well, to extrude these all the way down. Jeez, why is it doing that? Okay, all the way down to this surface, these surfaces down here. But before we do that, but you know what? Let's do that now because what, what will happen if we project this ID, I mean, this OD going up, then we have to flip it under and, and, and try to, you know, drive these down. So let's just extrude this profile. Actually, let's finish the sketch. Okay, let's go to extrude. Let's click these here. Make sure it's what we want.
Yup, it's what we want. Okay. And these two. And then we're going to do these three here. Now, if you drive the arrow down, it's going to try to cut through. What you want to do is do a join function, right? And you see how it kind of wraps around our design? That's exactly what we want. Now, if you drive it down to this platform, it should hit everything. You see that? Check the other side. Use the orbit function and just kind of look around, make sure everything lines up. That's exactly what we want. So, press OK. All right. Now, there's one problem, though. We, uh, the, the sketches disappeared, so we're going to have to bring them back. Now, what we want to do is to project this. Uh, let's extrude. That's going to allow us to, to uh, select multiple profiles at the same time. You see... Now we can uh, extrude this going up from this platform, right? Because we have it locked in to this platform. That's the platform we were drawing on. So if you uh, extrude it going up, then from there, now we have to do some math. Now, the overall length from here, this platform to the top of this uh, IDOD is going to be 20, right? Now, the distance from this platform to this platform is 14, but the overall length is 20. We got to subtract 14 from 20, we get 6. So when we project up, we should get a dimension of 6. There we go. That's the thickness. Okay. That's what we want. Now, if we turn these sketches off, there it is. That's how it looks so far. That's what we want. All right. So let's turn the sketches back on because now we want to sketch on this plane. Okay. So let's draw on this plane. You select it, extrude. Actually, I'm sorry, select it create sketch as you see how it flips we want to project uh, why is it doing that we project this uh, center point the system sees it the program does see it and we want to project it because we're going to use this um, for our next center diameter IDOD so let's press OK. So now we're able to sketch on this plane. And you see this uh, center point is selectable now. It's tangible on this drawing plane. So from there, we can create another IDOD. So this one calls for uh, overall diameter of 30 see that now the inside diameter calls for 20 so that means the thickness of this should read 10 okay so from there we're going to uh, finish the sketch let's go to isometric now this profile is the one we want to select because we're going to extrude it when you're going to extrude it we already did the math. We know we're going to go up 18. So you want to start dragging up 18. There you have it. All right. Let's turn the sketches off because there it is. We, we want to see what we're doing. So that's, that's what we have so far. Now, it's one more step, but it requires a couple of moves. So let's see. We want to draw on this plane again. Since we have this OD established, I'm going to show you our trick because we have to do a loft, okay? So from here, we're going to draw on this plane. You see how I select it? Create sketch. All right. Now we want to project. We want to project that. Let's see. We want to project this surface. Um, I think that's all we need. Yeah. 
if you go to your isometry, you see that these are the ones that we want projected, okay? Let's go back to the top view. Press OK. So, on this drawing plane, this sketch plane right here, we can see these two. That's what we want. Now, let's do a couple of construction lines. Construction. Okay. Now, these are projected, so we want well, what we want to do. There was still a, like a theoretical corner here. We want to do a two-point rectangle. That's going to start at the original corner. This theoretical intersection, right there, and it's going to be the same thing. Nine and nine okay all right now from there we're going to just draw actually it included these two yeah so that was a bit redundant i have a better idea let's back up there's multiple ways to do something but again if you're working in a production or a design office of some sort you want to be as efficient as as efficient as possible so let's just create a construction line that goes from this point this to this point okay click the little check mark and it's going to uh, solidify this this line here so it's going to confirm this line I should say we don't want it to be solid yet so um, from here we're going to turn let's leave our construction line on I'm gonna do something else so we want to go from this center point here and drag it to this intersection. Click that. And now from there, we're going to turn off the construction line and we're going to do um, uh, a couple of lines. So we have our construction lines and we want to go from this intersection and we want to go up only three mil. The reason we're doing that is because we established a midpoint for that uh, that little section there. Uh, it's like a little triangle section that connects the OD to the platform that we're drawing on. So you want to go up three mil, and then you want to do the same thing here. Three. We could have used a rectangle, but see, we want our segments to hit this section here, right? So in order to do that, we want to lock in. We have an, uh, you have an idea, like you can draw through it and then just uh, break it at that point here. Or you can just um, lock in the degree. So let's say if we want to go this far, right? Okay, so the lock-in degree is going to be zero. And then what's going to happen if you press in? Oh, shoot, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Click on that point, draw through, zero. Okay, so when you put in zero, you see that little padlock popped up? If you go back to this uh, OD, the outside, you know, the OD here, it's going to snap to it. And then you want to do the same thing with this line here. Start dragging it. And you see how it calls for 80? 180? You want to type in 180. It's going to lock it. And then it should let us go to this OD. There it is. It's now. All right. Press enter on your keyboard. All right. Let's see. It's supposed to select as its own profile. Something... We didn't, something happened there. What we may have to do is do another uh, OD. Let's do a, uh, let's duplicate this OD that we're trying to trace. So, um, certain center diameter circle, go from this point, drag it over, lock it in at 36, press enter. Let's see what happens. Hmm. We got too many. There it is. Okay. All right. It was too many highlighted. We probably didn't even have to do that. So let's 
backtrack. Let's take out that OD that we created just now. Okay, all right. Let's back up. This program could be a little finicky sometimes, so you just gotta you just bear with me. All right, press enter, and then let's take let's make this invisible. There it is. Okay, I'm about to say we should not have to do all that. So the the whole point of this was to for it to uh, duplicate. I'm sorry, not duplicate, but we want it to be selectable as its own profile, so we can extrude it. Now we want to do the same thing on the other side. And in order to do that, we're going to, let's see, our origin is right there. We're going to use that to mirror these line segments we just created. So let's go to create, mirror, mirror line. We're going to choose that axis. These objects we want are these segments. I hate when it does that. Let's see, we have to hold it. If you hold down your uh, the button, the left click on your mouse, it should let you choose slime segments individually, like specify which one you want to choose. Choose that one, press OK, and there you have it. So now you see these are they're, uh, selectable as their own profiles, which is what we want. Now, if we finish the sketch, we have to bring them back in. Let's see. There it is. All right. Let's go to isometric and we want to choose these two profiles, right? But you, in order to choose both at the same time, you can hold the shift key and do it, or you can just select the extrude option and just select these two profiles like that. Kick it up and you want to, instead of using a join function, you want to create new bodies. That's going to allow us to uh, do a loft function, right? So let's press OK. All right. Now, I wonder if it'll work without us having to draw in this face here. Let's go to create loft. And we want to loft from this segment to this segment here. So if you select this face and this face, there it is. It worked. All right. Press OK. You want to make sure you're in a cut function. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So if you right click on your mouse, repeat loft, select this surface, this surface, and it's going to loft it. There it is. Now we have a nice and clean drawing here, CAD part. Let's turn off the origin. If you want to take like a snapshot of something of your drawing, you can do that. Make it look good. Center it. And I believe that is it. I'm double checking everything. You want to double check your drawing? We're good to go. That completes part nine of this uh, tutorial series. I appreciate you all, you know, bearing with me with this one. Uh, we had a few hiccups, but part of doing a job like this is troubleshooting. You got to figure stuff out on the fly. You're not going to always have help available. So you just got to, you know, just troubleshoot, make some moves, figure it all out, and you, you'll be fine. Uh, it's a matter of knowing when to do something, right? When, knowing when to use these different functions here. Once you get used to that, then you'll be good to go. So again, I appreciate you all tuning in. This is part nine of a 10 part tutorial series. Uh, click like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support I can get. Uh, the next part is going to be a little weird, but we'll get through it. It's going to be definitely some more steps involved. Uh, and if you thought this one was tricky, the next one, <laughs> y'all going to be in for it. You all are going to definitely be in for it. So thank you all. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, until next time.